Today, I'm gonna show you how to record your computer screen using an Elgato capture card. This works on the Elgato HD60 and the HD60S, and I'm pretty sure even the internal Elgatos as well. But if you have one of these, let's go ahead and get into it. If you don't already know, now you know, I'm A21 Aaron, and I do all types of different tutorials on this channel showing you how to record or stream completely for free. If that's something that you don't wanna miss out on, then please subscribe to the channel. Capture cards are normally used to record or stream gameplay on your Xbox One or PlayStation, but a lot of people don't realize that you can actually use a capture card to record or stream gameplay off of your PC. And in my opinion, it actually looks and feels a lot better. Plus, there's a lot more customization in the menus. So I definitely recommend it if that's something that you want to do. A21 We have our Elgato HD60 and on, on the front right here we have a USB and then the HDMI input right here. So this right here is the USB. It plugs directly into the PC just like as if you were going to record your Xbox or PlayStation. Then we're going to turn it over to the front right here and it says out. Where it says out you're going to go ahead and plug this one in right here which you can plug this into your monitor or a TV. The one that says out I'm going to run the HDMI cord right here and then I'm going to go into the back of my monitor over here. So now I'm going to turn in the back of my monitor around where I have my HDMI cord here. I'm gonna pop that one out and then I'm gonna plug in the one that's into my Elgato. And now my monitor is plugged into the output on the Elgato. So we're gonna flip this back around. And then on this side right here with the USB, we're gonna plug in the next HDMI cord, which is gonna go directly into the PC. We're running that all the way around to right here, which instead of this going to the Xbox or PlayStation, it's gonna go directly into the PC and it kind of works exactly the same. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. So instead of the HDMI going from my PC directly to my monitor, I'm gonna have it go into my Elgato instead. And then from my Elgato, it's gonna split around and go into the monitor. That way it captures the data from the PC and displays it onto your monitor, but you're also still able to record. And again, make sure your USB is still plugged into the PC, that stays the same. So now that we have everything set up, I'm gonna show you guys on the camera right now how everything is looking. If you guys are seeing this, please go subscribe to Ivan. I'll leave his link in the description down below. You are probably one of the most loyal subscribers I think I've ever had. You were always the first to like, the first to comment, and you were always there. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and open up Elgato. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over here to capture. And as you can see, there we go. It is recording my computer screen. The reason I like this a lot more is because you have a lot more options. Of course, I'm able to go back in time if I forgot to record something, I can go back and record it. That happens a Lot. I don't like recording all the time and sometimes I miss some really epic things So this way if I can just play the game and let the DVR run around and if something exciting happens I can just open up my Elgato and then rewind it back in time and go ahead and start recording I Always have my commentary on that way that my mic is on and yes By the way, it does actually record your commentary if you have your mic on it does record everything on your screen And everything that you are saying as well. So it's really awesome if you've used the Elgato layout before then you already know how everything works. The only thing that you are going to have to check right here is the game audio. Sometimes it doesn't switch all over automatically and sometimes it does. So just make sure that that is working correctly. If you want to make sure your commentary and your mic is working, check, check, check. I can see it working right here. Go ahead and go over to YouTube and press play. Um, audio is all the way up. Make sure my speakers are all the way up and I'm not hearing anything. So I'm not getting any sound to my computer and this may happen to you as well. And I don't see any audio here. So let's go ahead and go over here to this little corner and to the speakers. And this is is what I normally use for my audio. But we're gonna get it, go ahead and give that a click and then open up Elgato right here where it says Elgato High Definition it's Audio. Skywalker there we go. What Ray's really doing here. Now it is working. I can turn down my speaker right here and I can see that the audio is still working on game audio. So that way, when you are playing a game, it will still be recording all the audio and you can have your commentary and it's recording your mic. And of course, like I said, I'm not really going in depth on how Elgato works in general. I'm just making sure that everything is working perfectly for you to be able to record or stream your PC screen. So that's pretty much it. Now you're able to record or stream off of your PC. So all the gameplay and anything that you see on your PC, you can now stream or record with your Elgato capture card. It's actually pretty fun. And honestly, I recommend this over any of the free software that you would use like OBS or XSplit or anything like that. It's a pretty simple and easy tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you do want more tutorials on streaming, recording, or anything that you may need for YouTube or Twitch, this may be the channel for you. So please subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. A21 Aaron is out. Peace out. Peace. Deuces. Like and subscribe.